Thanks for the bench. You don't get a chance to sit down very often. Did this, did you ever sit on a piano and bench and slide? Like, is this what, are they usually this slippery? No, this one is extremely slippery. It's just weird, you sit down and go, you know? Anyway, anything embarrassing ever happened to you when you perform in public? Like fall on a piano or some mm. dumb thing? Nothing that I can think of really embarrassed me. Let me tell you about what's happened to me. Tell me. No, <laughs> no. I mean, you spend 20 some odd years hanging around these fools. You, I've, no, I don't want to talk about that. And that's, most of those things happen live. Now that we tape things, we cut all the mistakes out. Have you always performed in front of the public? I mean, uh, did you, how do I get to this? You wrote songs, then you decided right. to get out in front. When did that happen? Oh, when I was uh, 17 years old, I started writing songs. And, uh, how many have you written since then? A couple of hundred. Is it really true that you write at all hours of the day and night while doing other things, or that is a vicious rumor? Uh, I've been writing mostly uh, during the recording sessions, during studio breaks. I've been writing a lot of songs in between takes. A, a, another idea would come to me in between recording another song. It's crazy. It's you're, not, you're not a well man. No, you I've never that. been well. <laughs> <laughs> How's the babe? She's beautiful. Has that changed your life at all? A lot, yeah. She's Have you written year, any songs for She was the year March 14th. Her name is Raquel. Have you written a Raquel song yet? Yeah, but I'm going to pass on recording it. <laughs> You're going to wait a while. Yeah. Do you have a, a, a stingy feeling in your heart when you write a song that you want to keep it for yourself now that you perform your songs? <sighs> Certain songs uh, I know I can handle as an artist, mm -hmm. and other songs that I really couldn't handle I want to get out to other people. I mentioned once that I think, I'm not, gee, I hope you wrote this song because I did such a build-up on it. Did you write My Eyes Adored You? Yes. All right, if you said Irving Berlin, I was in a lot of trouble. Did that have other words to it once? Right, it was originally Blue Eyes in Georgia. That's, I knew there was a story there. Why'd you change it? Well, I was sitting at the piano and just fiddling around with the idea of leaving a girl in uh, Georgia. Yeah. They were the only eyes I ever loved, my eyes in Georgia, and I accidentally hit my eyes adored you. And I said, that's a better premise for the mm. song than leaving a girl in Georgia, and that's how the song happened. Did you write it with Frankie Valley in mind or yourself? No, I just wrote the song with myself in mind, really. All right. You have recorded ahead of time. How much material have you got waiting for the world? <laughs> uh, probably 35, 35 songs. Not yet released? Not yet released. No. Want to do one that's been released? Yeah. What's it called? I Believe in You. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Mr. Kenny Nolan.